All right, so this is the unit six reviewing the main topics, which for unit six, we stayed away from conic sections because you have plenty of time for the next year, and we just really touched on it lightly. So the main thing for unit six I'm looking at are first semester, converting it to radian degrees so we get comfortable with radians, which we'll see a lot next year. Arc length, which remember when we're talking arc length, we have a central angle, and the arc length is how how long this this arc is right here, and it's always denoted by s. We can figure this out because I'll, I'll jump back to this in a second. But I want to give the idea on this is all the way around, right? Is either two pi or it's 180 degrees. Right. So looking at that, we can figure out what this arc length is by finding the oh. Well, <laughs> circumference 2 pi r or we can think of it as 360 degrees okay so looking at these degrees or circumference measurements we are going to be able to figure out this arc length by taking our circumference and multiplying the circumference by some ratio so 360 is all the way around if I went halfway maybe 180 over 360 so whatever the distance all the way around is the proportion, or sorry, the ratio of all the way around is going to give us that length. Area of a sector we're talking about when we have a central angle, it is the area of that sector. And again, the same idea, the area of the whole thing is pi r squared. So I find, okay, the whole thing and then multiply it by some ratio of uh, radian or degree measure. Okay, so that is the main idea. We're basically are looking at the whole thing and then taking out the portion that we're interested in. So looking at first going from degrees to radians, this is the same conversion uh, proportion you're going to use. The radian measure over pi is equal to the degree measure over 180. Because in radians, pi is a semicircle. It's halfway. 180 degrees is also a semicircle. So for both of these, we're going to use that same conversion and we're going to look for our radian measure, theta in radians, over pi is equal to the 200 over 180. So again, it's relating the proportion. Pi is halfway around. Halfway around. That's pi degrees. 180 degrees is, again, halfway around. So whatever our degree measure, we're relating it to whatever the radian measure is for that same um, that same angle, the same angle. So looking at this, uh, what can I do to get to my theta, my radian measure, really quick? What can I do? It's radian measure here divided by pi. Multiply pi by both sides. Pi. Multiply. You see? You don't even have to cross multiply because you would do this step anyway on the next step. So we have our theta equal to all this, 20 over 18, 10 over 9, times pi, 3.4 divided by 9. 200 divided by 180 times pi. Yeah, that's going to be right. All right, so we know the radian measure then is 3.49 radians. What are we going from here? Anytime you see pi in the measurement of the angle, you know it's a radian. We're using the same thing though. But in this case, I'm gonna go nine pi over four. That's my, my radian measure over pi. And that's equal to some degree that I'll find over 180. What was the trick over here with this ratio on the left side when we have nine pi over four divided by pi? The pi's are going to cancel out. And if you forgot why that would possibly happen, think of it as 9 pi over 4 divided by um, pi over 1. But we flip it because division the fractions. We can convert it to a multiplication problem if we flip the second fraction, which allows us to get rid of the pi. So instead of doing that every single time, we do know that these pi's are going to go 
negated out 9 fourths is equal to the degree measure over 180. How about we just multiply by 180 and be done with this? 180. Gone, gone. The degree measure is, let's see, 45 times 9, 405 degrees. All right, how do we feel about conversions? Thumbs up, down, sideways, anything? Good, right? We're good. Okay. So let's then look at arc length. Now, again, with arc length and area of a sector, you have to recall that if it's a radian problem, we're using a different uh, starting formula compared to degree. So I'm going to go ahead and take my information with the radius of 18 centimeters, and my theta is 60 degrees. It's a degree problem. So I need to look over. Okay, arc length S is equal to, or divided by the circumference is equal to, closer, make sure you get it, 60 degrees, which we know, over 360. So it's a basic proportion again. Let's look at this. The circumference is all the way around, which we'll have to figure out. 360 is all the way around. This is saying that instead of going all the way around, we're going 60 degrees. So this ratio right here has to be equal to this ratio right here. All the way around the circumference, so if I find this, the, uh, the arc length, that is talking about the portion of going all the way around with the circumference. So these things are too relate, they're related in that way. And we just have to then find our circumference, which is 2 pi r, which is going to be, in this case, 36 pi. So I'm going to go ahead and put 36 pi right here to find the arc length, all I need to do then is multiply both sides by 36 pi. So again, I found 36 pi because that is the circumference. I have to, I could just erase it and put it there as the circumference. 2 pi r, radius is 18, 36 pi. We can <coughs> multiply by 36 pi to get rid of it on that side. We get the arc length as, let's see, 1 6 times 36, it's going to be 6 pi. Okay, so I would take the answer as 6 pi, or pi times 6 is 18.85. 18.85. And because it's centimeters, I have to make sure to get those units in there. So up here would be. Is that right? 18.85? Yeah. Okay, so far so good? Yeah, so far so good. Any questions on that? Something you can't read? I did a couple steps in one line. Everyone okay? Good. All right, number four. What are we dealing with? Radians or degrees? Radians. There's some pi in there. That's your, that's your main reason why we know that for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the arc length for radians. I love radians. For these two, radians and, or sorry, length and sector here, radians make this really nice because the theta, our radian measure, remember, is just the ratio of the arc length divided by the radius. So I'm going to go ahead and have, let's see, pi over 2, and that's going to be equal to S, which I'm looking for, over 14 centimeters, my radius. Oh, right. And again, I want S, not S divided by 14 centimeters, so I'm going to multiply by 14. Gone, gone. S is going to be 7 pi, or 22 something. an S. Arc length, not so bad, right? We did learn a lot of different concepts through the year. Hodgepodge. All right, arc length's last bit is area of a sector. Remember, with area of a sector, we're taking the area of the entire circle and then we're multiplying it by some ratio. Uh, they're both ratios. But whatever the area of that circle is, 
would then be multiplied by, say, 60 degrees of the 360 degrees. You see? So the area of that circle, the area of the circle, times some ratio of my degree measures I'm interested in will tell me what portion of the circle is included in the sector I'm interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. We know we have a degree measure for our theta. So I look to this and I know that it's the area of the circle times just that proportion. Sorry, that ratio. 225 over 360. All right, so I'm going to erase this because that was just a warm-up idea. Area of a circle, remember, is pi r squared. Pi r squared. So we can find that because we know the radius. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. Area of the sector. Pi r squared is 49 pi. And that's 225, 360, 72, 72, 40. I just felt like doing it. I don't know why. It's not fun. I didn't have fun doing this. 49 pi times 45 divided by 72. I don't know that. That was right there. 360 times 45. Yeah. Alright, we end up with uh, 96.21. And we're looking at meters squared because it's the area. Okay. If you left it in terms of pi, you would end up with, let's see, 45 divided by, no, 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 all right, very last one. You guys okay back there? All right, keep it down for the last one. Here we go. Area of a sector for a radian is very straightforward. Now, you can't quite see it here, but this is derived from the area of a circle times that radian measure over pi, excuse me, over uh, 2 pi. Uh, when you reduce all that, that's how the two ends up down there, and we end up reducing all the way down to r squared times theta divided by 2. So let's go ahead and get that all together here. r squared is 10 squared times theta divided by 2. One way to look at, at this is, this is going to be 100 divided by 2. I could think of it like this, 50 pi over 4. So we get the area of the sector is 12.5 pi meters squared or 39.27. Four. All right, so those both both those options will work. I'm not going to count it against you uh, if you're giving it in terms of pi or not for these type problems. There will be some times where we end up uh, working in radians where pi is important to keep in terms of pi. But some calculators offer that as an option and some don't. So unearned disadvantage isn't continued here. Reason technology, if you got different technology, I can't make that an advantage or a disadvantage. All right. Okay, any questions? How do you guys feel? Thumbs up? Thumbs sideways? Thumbs down? You? Okay. We're mostly, we're mostly up. Alright. Uh, and that's it. That's it. Okay, I'm going to put up the first worksheet. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't subscribe over the summer.